Simon Baines. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Across the length and breadth of my constituency of Cluid South, people have paid heartfelt tribute to Her Late Majesty the Queen. Part of what made the Queen so special was her combination of majesty and modesty, which made her both a remarkable head of state and an approachable person who millions have enjoyed meeting or seeing at close quarters at home and abroad. In Cluid South, people have been recalling her many visits over the years, including to Corwin in 1949, when she was still Princess Elizabeth, and then to Tlangothlin in 1953 in her post-coronation tour when she attended the Tlangothlin International Musical I Stedford and took a trip on the Tlangothlin Steam Railway. These visits continued over the years to Overton on Dee, Wrexham and elsewhere, and in all cases people felt a special connection with this smiling, friendly and unassuming monarch supported so magnificently by Prince Philip. Unlike many other speakers here today, I've never had the honour of meeting the Queen in person, but I am proud to say that both my mother and I shared the same birthday as Her Majesty the Queen, yeah. namely the 21st of April. Perfect. Also, as a small boy in 1964, I remember the excitement in my own family when my father, um, who commanded the Queen's Guard at Balmoral, and we all spent the summer staying in Ballata while he carried out his official duties, supported by my mother. Like everyone else that I have met who served the Queen in an official capacity, my father thought the world of her. As has been mentioned many times, yesterday there were rainbows over both Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle. And I like to think of her reign as a rainbow of dedicated service overarching my life and that of the nation. And I felt this most strongly in the wonderful address she gave the nation in April two years ago, which again many members have referred to at the start of the COVID crisis, in which she said, the moments when the United Kingdom has come together to applaud its care and essential workers will be remembered as an expression of our national spirit, and its symbol will be the rainbows drawn by children. The Queen embodied our national spirit with her great sense of community, kindness and dedicated service, for which we are eternally grateful. My thoughts and prayers and those of my constituents in Cluid South are with her beloved family. God rest her soul, God save the King and bless the Prince and Princess of Wales. Yeah.